Today we're focusing on three Premier League midfielders who are at the top of their game right now. Now with these three players, I want to highlight two things, and that's their vision and movement, both essential attributes for central midfielders. Now the first example of vision here, David Silva, plays a beautiful pass into Boney. So what's great here is the vision of Silva. He spots that space in behind the defence, he sees Boney's run, and he plays it there with this beautiful lob technique. And usually that will be a goal. Just great by Silva. Next example. So the movement to begin with by Silva is great. He drops back, he's thinking two passes ahead, and as he gets that ball, he spots the run of Aguero, he sees the space behind the defence, and he plays another beautiful lobbed ball over. Now, I want to touch upon the partnership between Liverpool's Henderson and Sturridge. If you're a midfielder who wants to get more assists, or a striker who wants to score more goals, then it's important that you have an understanding with each other. So here, as soon as Henderson gets the ball, Sturridge on the top of the screen there is already on his bike. Even 40 yards away they have this understanding and Henderson has the vision to spot him every time. So here's a great goal and another good example. When Henderson receives the ball here, he knows exactly who he's going to pass to, Sturridge. And Sturridge expects that ball which is why he can head that ball so nicely. So it's actually very good smart movement from Sturridge and Henderson here. Henderson's very smart because he drops back about 10 yards to create an option and Sturridge is constantly moving around to put defenders on the back foot. So when he eventually gets that ball, he's created just enough room for himself to score. So if you want to score more as a striker or assist more as a midfielder, communicate with your teammates before a match even show them these clips so they can understand and see what can be achieved when you have an understanding. So not only is this a great strike, it's a good example of movement and especially anticipation. Hendo's all in ninja mode, expecting and anticipating the ball will somehow fall to him. This gives him the momentum to launch a fantastic strike. So David Silva gets the ball here. He sees the run, he passes, and he doesn't stop and just wait. He comes in, gets that ball, and that's how he scores a goal. He's anticipating, he's expecting. That's great movement. So, Juan Mata this time. Two passes ahead, he's already expecting this ball. Look, the United player gets the ball, and he's already saying, hey, give me the ball, look. And that's why he gets the ball, he's already in full pace, and he's able to get that time and space for a finish. So, last example here, um, example of Good give and go movement. Mata gives that one two pass and he receives the ball behind that midfield, ready to pass it on. Now he does this again. This time he gets the ball here, he waits for the United player to come back and he continues his run, that give and go movement. And what a, what a finish. There's no words to describe that. It's brilliant. But it's all about that movement which started the goal. All about that movement. So I hope you learned a lot from that video. Um, since the last update, the channel has grown and there are over a thousand subscribers now um, and that's fantastic. So you're going to start seeing more videos uploaded now um, and uh, if you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments below and um, we'll see what we can do. So until next time, train effective.